my god. Where do we even get started with Arsenal? Where do we even get started? Where is Arsenal going? I had to put this video up. I haven't put up a video for about four and a half days now. Um, I didn't put up one from the Southampton game. Not because I didn't think the Southampton game was worthy of a video. Just because life stuff just takes over. But I thought great performance from Southampton. Good effort. You know, they showed fight. And then yesterday... Lots of good signs, a little bit unlucky if you're looking at it from a positive lens. But again, where are we going? Where are we going as a club? What is going to happen to Mikel Arteta going forward? And is he the right person to take us forward? These are the questions we need to answer. And I've got some suggestions in this video. First of all, where are we going? People, fans... Anybody who's watching this video, I will tell you this right now. Arsenal are in a position whereby we have to start over again. I've, I haven't talked about it much on this channel, but th this is a side that we are in. We're at the beginning of our transition. And I think everybody thought that the transition would look like Liverpool. Um, when in actual fact, it was probably going to be something closer to Manchester United except we don't have the money to be able to spend what Manchester United have spent over the years. And this is where we are. This is where we are right now. The problems that you see in this side, the, um, the lack of a de defensive solidity, in some occasions, a midfield that's devoid of goals, creativity, uh, historically defensive solidity, and at times just a just general work rate. And then an attack that is just completely limp, that has no sense of attacking threat, no creativity, and let's be honest, no goals. What do we do to fix this? I think all the fans have been clamoring for give the young players a chance. I think that that's probably the best way to start rebuilding the side. But it's going to be a very long time before Arsenal are in a position whereby we are challenging for anything or anywhere near top four. I, I really do mean it. I don't want this to always be sounding like a bad video, but you have to do videos like this to understand where this club is going. Right now, this season, the best we can do is win the Europa League. It's the utmost best in the Premier League. Not so much. In the Premier League, I think that, you know what, we are, we need to be picking up points, even if it's just draws, but we, we need to get three points. If we don't, things are going to start to slip. I mean, we've already seen in the table right now. You look at the table uh, and you see where Arsenal's performance is in the league. We are still... We, we are in a relegation fight, people, right now. And I'm looking at the table right now. And when you look at the teams around us, we've got Sheffield United in 20th. And this is, I'm recording this at 9 o'clock at night on Sunday. West Brom are in 19th. Burnley on 18th. Fulham on 17th. Brighton on 16th. And Arsenal 15th on 14 points. We have got the same goal difference, a minus six goal difference, as Brighton, as Leeds, as Palace. And right now, we don't look like we have all the tools to be able to get out of it. What is it that we could need to do in order to fix it? I've talked about the young players. I think that they could provide, or at least provide a template at least temporarily to be able to build another steel structure when you're talking about building a team you keep talking about building a spine what is Arsenal spine right now Leno I think he's an okay goalkeeper I, I think he is definitely better than where we are right now in the league I think a lot of the players individually Gabriel I think is a very good defender 
David Luiz, I think, is, is, is a good defender. I think he's part of that spine. Unfortunately, he's injured, but Thomas Partey, I think, is also part of that spine in that midfield. We're right now missing somebody next to him as part of the midfield to be incorporated in that midfield spine. Me, personally, I think part of that midfield spine needs to be Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I've said this time and time again. He has to be playing in midfield. And then when you look at the final third, what is it going to be? Who's going to play either in that number 10 or who's going to be playing up front? We really don't know. I mean, the easy way is to say it is a, it's going to be a Bamiyang, but a Bamiyang's now a little bit injured. He's grossly out of form. And all of our other strikers seem to be a bit impotent. Just they don't have they don't have what it takes in order to score goals. I don't know why it is. Something is definitely going on in the dressing room. We as fans, we don't know. And unfortunately, this is all Mikel Arteta's. Like, he has to change things. Certain players should be dropped. Willian, I've said this time and time again. He just does not look interested. Not good enough. Hasn't been good enough since Fulham, to be more specific. Pepe, good player, wasted out wide. Maybe he should be playing at the number 10. Maybe he, he's the answer to everything. And then play a striker ahead of him, whether it being in a Bamiyang or a Lacazette or Martinelli or, any, or in Ketia. But right now, it's, it's all not good enough. When you look at where we are in the table, you've got... I mean, literally... We are more than double points-wise. Like, oh my God. We're 14 points and Liverpool in first place are on 31. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. Not to say that Arsenal are trying to challenge for the league, but, I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, it's an absolute joke. It's a, re it's a real, real joke. It's just, it's not good enough. Now we got to talk about Mikel Arteta. Is he the right man to lead the ship? Because I'm having people message me. Um, one of my uh, subscribers, shout out to Carol. She sent me a message um, about a video from AFTV whereby everybody's saying Arteta out. I'm not quite there yet because I believe that this is all the players' fault. When you look at recent news that has been coming out, Bern Leno did an interview uh, in Germany and he talked about how this isn't the manager's fault. This comes down to the players. And the players are not... They're just not concentrating. They are not 100% there or 100% committed. I, I really don't know. I'm just a fan. I, I, I don't have the answers. But if we're looking at what current players have said... The likes of Bakayo Saka who have come out and apologised to the fans. You can tell that they know that they are fucking up. And I completely agree. These players at this football club, Arsenal Football Club, they will cause Mikel Arteta to get, get the sack eventually. I don't know how bad this is going to get and I hope it doesn't get even worse. I am just hoping that we can get... A handful of wins, five wins, to help us stave off relegation. Let us build this team back up again. Get rid of some of the players that need to be getting rid of. And let's bring in the right players because that's really what the problem is. Um, but we do have to say Mikel Arteta has made some mistakes. I believe he's made a fundamental stake mistake with signing William and before anybody comes up and talks to me about Ozil no I do not believe he's made a mistake in Ozil because I don't believe that that's come from Mikel Arteta I believe that that's come from the club because we saw the same things that we've seen under Mikel Arteta in regards to Meza Ozil it's the same things that we saw under Unai Emery they don't want him there and they decided they didn't want him there for a long long time so get over it 
Ozil is gone. Like in another few weeks, he'll be able to sign for another club. In about five months, he'll be able to leave on a free. The Mesut Ozil experiment is is done. It's it's over. And every single time things go wrong with Arsenal, I'm tired of hearing about Mesut Ozil because I don't really believe that he would add that much of a difference. There is enough there right now from what we've seen. We can't talk about creating chances because chances are being created. We have been wasteful. We need to create more chances. And there are some times within games whereby we shoot ourselves in the foot. For instance, at the game against Everton, the own goal, she shot yourself in the foot. I don't think Everton were that great, and neither were we, uh, and probably deserved the draw. I think we were a bit unlucky, but certain performances from certain players just do not warrant a place in the side. And I guess you guys are probably wondering, when is it? That I'm going to make a decision on Mikel Arteta. Should he stay or should he go? Or whether he should go. Because I am. I'm not in for getting rid of managers. Because they're going through a bad run of form. Um, and the reason for that. Is because I truly believe. If you sack Arteta now. You will have to start. All over again. And for a manager to come. And to start all over again. For the position that we are in. Right now, you're asking somebody to come in and start up again in the position where you have a side next to the relegation zone. I don't think that there are many managers out there that would be interested in this type of role. And I know a lot of people are talking about Allegri, but he turned us down because we wasn't going to give him the type of money that he wanted to rebuild the side. So I don't see why he would come here again. People talk about Pochettino. Why would he come to Arsenal? He's got better offers out there. Right now, as Arsenal fans, for the moment, we need to back the team, try to support them as best as we can. It's okay to criticise. I think everybody should criticise the team. Because we're this shit that, like... It gets to a point where you you just can't defend it anymore. You just have to say, you know what? That's the team that I support, win, lose, or draw. And you just have to support them. But please, as fans, it's okay. Criticize the team because right now, this team does need constant scrutiny. And we just have to hope that Arteta continues with these little changes that he does... To create more big changes. Emil Smith Rowe. We need to start seeing him. We need to see more. We need to see signings in January. Whether it being signings on a permanent basis. Or signings from on loan. We need to see that. I, certain players need to go. Granite Xhaka. Goodbye. I want him gone. He's not what this club needs. In terms of players within that midfield but that not only comes from Mikel Arteta but that comes from the club we just have to hope that as fans just keep supporting the club as we possibly can I just have to hope that things do change um, because this season doesn't look great I believe that at some point these players will turn it around I don't think that we're going to get relegated. But we are in a relegation fight at the moment. We just are. We get a handful of wins. Then everything changes. That's 15 points right there. Add that on to the 14 that we have right now. And you basically have 39 points. Which typically is enough to stay in the Premier League. And... I can't even believe I'm actually using that as a reason. But that is what it is. So Arsenal fans, I know we got a midweek game against Man City. I'll be putting out my video on that very soon. Most likely that will be tomorrow. But 
I just thought I had to vent, give my thoughts on everything that's going on with Mikel Arteta, Arsenal Football Club. And where do I think we could see ourselves going forward and the state of everything right now? But leave your comments below. I, this is one where it makes sense for you guys to leave your comments. I do want to hear what you guys have to say. Because I know that my thoughts tend to be very different, or at least somewhat different from what a lot of Arsenal fans think. So leave your comments below. Do remember to thumbs up the video if you like, or thumbs down the video, like whatever. Um, and I will see you all next time on my another video, which should be somewhere in and around there. Um, I guess that's how it works. But until then, see you all next time.